Hi, I'm Murray from Scott Dawson Advertising. We've been working with Hindburn Borough Council for a number of years now, looking at a project for the Accrington Pals. It's great to see the centenary of the end of the war being commemorated with the new town square being launched on Saturday. And we're launching this new module to commemorate the Accrington Pals and all those who served in World War I in Accrington. There's over 12,000 records. So let's nip into the town hall and just see who's opening it today. So here we are, just interrupting the official opening. We've got Kath Holmes, we've got Miles, the leader of the council, and Graham Jones, the MP for Hindburn. So we're here on this fabulous module that we've been working on. I know that you've just been having a play with it and a look at it. So I'm just keen to understand from your thoughts, what do you think to it, Graham? Well, I think a lot of work's gone into this. It's fabulous. I think when kids come in and school children come in and have a look at this, they'll be... Um, really impressed by the amount of information, the old photographs, the stories, the personal stories and the personal touch um, about Accrington and the borough. It's absolutely fabulous. But you've also got your own stories from your family in World War One as well, haven't you? I have, yes. My great-grandfather was in the Royal Ambulance Medical Corps. He's uh, Accrington through and through. Um, he served the full four years um, and returned home after the war, yes. And Miles, I know that you've been uh, a staunch supporter of this project since 2013, so we've been looking at ways to actually pull it together and launch it, and it's an ideal anniversary, the centenary of the end of the war, to actually launch this project on Saturday. It is, I mean, the vision which has come together is really inspiring, especially for what it is representing. I mean, many years ago, as you said, in 2013, we set up the Accrington Pals Working Group, which was made up of dedicated volunteers from across the borough with the knowledge and civic pride. And this is the culmination of much work. We see the opening of the square, uh, but of course, this is what will be the legacy. It's giving those details to family members and people who just want to look into the history and why the battalion was raised from such a small town. So it's really, really pleasing that actually Scott Dawson has delivered such an aspirational piece and I know everyone is extremely pleased. Well, we've been very privileged to work on this project, um, but I have to say that we couldn't do any of this without Kath Holmes and with her father, Walter Holmes. You know, we feel very privileged that we're allowed access to records that had totally been on lockdown before. And what we were trying to do was to pull them together for the next generation, but equally, not just black and white photographs, but something they could access. So I know, Kath, you've been very supportive with your father and an interface to pull this all together. What are, what are your thoughts? I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's been a long, hard slog doing it. You know, we've all put a massive amount of time into it, but we've got there in the end. Um, I'm just glad that it's in a format that people can look at. It's better than dusty old books and photographs. It's a more modern twist on it, and it's easy to access as well. It is. Well, I know that it originally came when I knocked on your father's door and I keyed in my partner's um, family name through history and we found relatives that we didn't even know were in the Accrington Pals. So I think there's still a lot of memories to dig out. And, and we built all the sandbags and the iPad modules. So we're really excited that, you know, it's open to the public from Saturday onwards. You know, we've even got a rat that's hidden in there. So if you come in, you'll be able to see the rat in the corner. We're very proud to be able to deliver this to the town. And it's for the memories of the Accrington Pals and all those who served in World War One that we can keep the memories alive, especially with the postcard format that people can come in and access and get something delivered to their house. But equally, if people have other records, then we're keen to understand what they are that we can add in, because this is by no means complete. It's an ongoing project for many years to come. I'd just like to say, I mean, this is a public uh, exhibition and everyone is welcome to come down to the town hall and see it and see what Hackrington did and what its brave soldiers did in 1914 to 1918. That's great. Thank you, everyone.